I'm Aaron Davis, Major Account Manager for Ground Force Worldwide, located here in beautiful North Idaho. Today, we'd like to provide an overview of our water pull conversions, while specifically looking over a recent conversion we completed on a 2014 CAT 621K wheel tractor scraper. Basically, as you can see, we've removed the scraper bowl, the rear push group, and other components in order to transform this machine into an 8,000 gallon water pool to carry out dust control at your construction site, reclamation project, or other earth moving site. For certain cut and fill or other earth moving projects, wheel tractor scrapers are the best bang for the buck way to get the job done. And when it comes to mobile dust control solutions for these same projects, converting an older or newer wheel tractor scraper that is common to your fleet can be the best and safest way for you to get this additional and important aspect of the job done. By converting one of your current machines, you'll have lower initial overall costs versus purchasing a new water truck or other option that may require you to invest in an additional chassis or prime mover. Operation and general handling will be similar to the other scrapers in your fleet, so all your operators can feel comfortable behind the wheel of this machine with only a little additional training on the easy to use and operate touchscreen of the ground force water control system and other water pull features and equipment. Spare parts, servicing needs, and other aspects common to the rest of your scrapers will also carry over to your new water pull, leveraging commonality for your maintenance team. Bottom line, if the terrain you're working is most effectively, safely, and economically done by wheel tractor scrapers, then converting a scraper into a water pull is also likely to be the best, safest, and most economical way to keep dust issues under control over the same terrain. Ground Force can convert scrapers of all sizes and makes into water poles to meet your needs when it comes to capacities and fleet mix. For a mid-sized machine like the CAT 621K unit we have here today, the Ground Force tank holds 8,000 gallons of water. But depending on the size, bowl capacity, and power of the scraper, the Ground Force water tank installed on the converted machine can be anywhere from 5,000 to 12,000 gallons in capacity. The tank we're looking at today is one of our brake saver drop arm designs. The machine's existing hydraulic lift arms are attached to the water tank so that the tank can be lowered to engage the ground and assist in braking if needed on descending steep terrain. By lowering the tank, the tank can be used as an emergency brake when parked or stationary. Lowering the rear portion of the unit can also be advantageous when filling the tank from the hydrant fill point as it puts the fill point lower to the ground to aid the operator in making the connection. Ground Force also offers our water pulls in a non-drop configuration where the tank is fixed at a safe operational height and cannot be lowered for customers who want a simple approach with less moving parts and a lower initial price point. Our standard spray package includes a full width spray bar with hydraulic operated staggered spray heads. Customers who want additional spray coverage or volume, additional spray heads can be added. Though the operation of the ground force water poles is all accomplished from the safety of the Rop Spops cab of the prime mover, all of our tanks feature top of tank access ladders and safety enhancements like anti-skid surface and a PPE tie-off cable to allow easy and safe topside access for periodic inspections or maintenance. In addition to the two and a half inch ground level hydrant fill point, our water pulls are most easily filled via the top of tank 36 inch banded manway by using a water tower or other overhead water source on site. Optional spray and watering equipment, all of which is easily controlled from the touchscreen of the ground force water control system or WCS located in the operator's cab can include side sprays, to amplify coverage, hose reels for washing down equipment or other tasks, water cannons in both remote controlled and fixed joystick versions for such things as high walls, machine washing, or firefighting, rear gravity operated full width dump bar to allow the unit to keep putting down water on roads even if the pressurized system is down or if you just need to hit a narrow area and don't want to use the normal spray heads, or quick emptying of the tank by a single four, six, or eight inch dump valve. Other helpful options to enhance operations, safety, or convenience can also include in-cab electronic water level indicator, anodes to combat interior tank corrosion, and a low level shutoff switch to automatically turn off the water pump before damage can be caused by continuing to run the pump if the water level in the tank is critically low. LED work lights strategically mounted to enhance nighttime operations. From the outside, this ground force 8,000 gallon water tank may look like a simple shell. 
but each ground force water pole is sized and engineered with both safety and innovation at the forefront of our design process. Ground force water poles incorporate both transverse and longitudinal baffles with offset pass-throughs throughout the tank. By compartmentalizing the water in this way, as the tank empties during use, the movement of the water within the tank is minimized and helps keep the ride stable and safe for the operator. The size and design of each tank is closely analyzed to ensure machine capacities are kept in check when fully loaded, and that a low center of gravity, mimicking that of the machine in its original earth-moving configuration, is maintained. In the end, our goal is to create a smooth and safe ride for your operator as they efficiently and effectively keep dust in control at your site. In closing, I want to thank you for joining us today and hope that you've enjoyed this product overview of the 8,000 gallon ground force water pole.